So, we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, so we're doing an ASOS haul, but because you know I'm a bit too lazy to like edit things because you know, don't have time. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and do it all and try all the stuff on whilst filming. Um, <laughs> How it goes we don't know um but because i did film like a boohoo haul like during the first lockdown and i still haven't edited it and haven't uploaded it because you know effort so <laughs> i thought i'd give this one a go because basically um i've done a massive asos haul because it was my birthday yesterday so my husband said here's your limit buy what you like um so i bought double because i knew a lot of it would be going back anyway because um, size is a bit if like, always a bit iffy with me so um yeah I had to I will be sending a lot of this back tomorrow and some stuff I'm not actually gonna be able to try on so I'll just show you um just for the pure fact that I can't even do them up um <laughs> so I am in between the size 14 16 depends where I buy it from but then sometimes 16s don't fit um because I've got really wide hips but I've actually got quite a smaller waist compared to the ratio um of everything so yeah um, so this is uh, a bit of an ASOS haul for you. So first off is this dress here. I have actually got an outfit underneath here as well, um, but it is really baggy. So I didn't actually buy this one. My mum got this one for me, but <laughs> great minds think alike. But damn, I bought one myself as well. Um, but I didn't actually like it too much, like because I bought it uh, when I bought it for myself. I bought it to wear outside, and I was like, meh. Don't really like it. I've got a lot of loungewear, um, even though I quite like having a lot of loungewear around. Um, so I was like, it's just a bit too baggy. So I was going to send my one back. And then I got this one from my mum yesterday. And I was like, do you know what? I actually did like wearing it around the house. So I've actually been wearing this around the house all day. <laughs> um, so it's an ASOS own uh, label. And I actually quite like it. It doesn't, it's not flattering. Like... I know that, but it just makes me feel like I've actually dressed for the day when I'm not leaving the house. It makes me feel a bit more productive. It's a bit of a swing dress. I think it's meant to be a bit tighter, but I've got this in a 16. Um, and yeah, so if I did need to run an errand, I'd technically still look dressed. So yeah, it's all right. So I'm just going to strip off on the side. <laughs> and then, yes, yeah, so this is like a well good quick change. I'm going to put this underneath my dress. Um beforehand so oh, do you know what I don't hate this now I actually didn't like this um, I was really unsure on the shorts but I've got a black bodysuit that's a Miss Selfridge one um, oh no I don't like these shorts no no um, <laughs> um, but yeah I don't the only reason I'm not keeping this bodysuit from Miss Selfridge is because it literally goes all the way up here I feel like if I had any like trousers or something that was a bit lower They'd just be peeking out the side all the time. You just see like muffin top come out the top. <laughs> so yeah, but it actually looks all right. But I think if I got a bigger size, it'd just be way too big up here. Um, but I think this is this outfit's actually like cutting my body in like half, so it's making it look a bit smaller. I don't know if it's this belt. Now there's a problem with this belt. This is an ASOS own one, uh, but this belt just keeps coming undone. Like I think because it's like the silky material. Um, it's actually all right at the front, that's the thing, but I think the back is just, it's too short. If I bend over, I'm not gonna, but if I bend over, you'll probably see the bottom of my underwear, and I know you can get like, you can wear like a thong and you haven't got an issue, but sometimes I don't wanna have to think about what underwear I'm wearing underneath stuff. So yeah, I don't think it's the most flattering thing in the world anyway, but I don't know. So I will show you. But yeah, these shorts are like, didn't know whether I was going to keep them or not. So my husband said they look good, but I'm second guessing. But it's my favourite thing out of this whole entire haul. <laughs> these are so beautiful. Like, literally, I love them so much. Um, I've been eyeing these up on ASOS for, since I went in the new in section. I scroll through that, like, every now and then. Um, but, yeah, absolutely love these boots. What The only downside to them, like, I wore them out yesterday. Didn't take the tags off, whoops. Um... <laughs> But I wore all these yesterday and we went out and uh, the only downside is, is it's very tight along here. It's not stiff, it's just very tight and so you can probably see where it's bent. Like I only zipped them up to here so I could actually move my ankle. Um, but very comfortable otherwise and I I reckon once I've like worn them out. One second. 
guess I'm gonna have to do some editing now because there was a knock on the door. Not a live delivery. Hey! <laughs> um, I'm probably not gonna do a video on that. It's just a couple of Christmas dresses. But yeah, anyway, so <laughs> these boots, love them. A um, little tight around there, but I reckon once I wear them, they'll be absolutely fine to um, zip up all the way. But yeah, sturdy, well made, lovely. Okay, so um, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? So, right, these trousers. I was really excited to get these. They don't fit. I can't do them up, so I won't be able to try them on. But they are basically cord. Um, trousers. I, I thought they'd be a bit more stretchy, like legging material, but I know cord isn't that stretchy. But I had um, had cord trousers uh, when I was in sixth form. I, I wore them to death. I actually I absolutely did. They were brown cord trousers. They had flares at the bottom. And so when I saw these, I was like, Do you know what? That might be really good for winter. They've got little zippy. Oh, I thought they had a zip. They don't. They just have a little split there. Why do I think there was a zip? Maybe it's because there's a zip on the side, um, but yeah, I couldn't do them up. I could like I could I put pulled them up, but to be fair, I think even if I could do them up, I wouldn't have liked them because there's so much gaping material down here. I felt like I couldn't move. So yeah, not the greatest, but I am sad they didn't fit because I really like the design. Um, so they were ASOS brand as well. Um, so I'll show you this skirt actually because I was so disappointed in this skirt that this didn't fit. Um, so this. It's a River Island skirt and it's so nice. And I'm loving this like quilted material that's in like fashion at the moment. I kept seeing them in Primark and then never bought them because I was like, they're probably not gonna fit. Um, so yeah, I just couldn't do the side up, the side zip. Uh, this is a 16, I think that's the largest it goes as well, so I wouldn't even be able to size up. Um, but it just, where, when you're a mum and you like running around as well, it's hard to have short skirts and not flash. Um, so yeah, that's why I bought a load of cycling shorts over the summer to keep my summer dresses because they're all quite short. So I just put uh, cycling shorts underneath them so it kind of looked like a bit like leggings and that, so it was quite good. But yeah, so we've got these. Um, yeah, I love it. It just didn't fit. Um, but I think they've got a different design in now as well. And I think that went up to an 18, but I think it was buttons down the front. I can't remember, but um, it's really good quality as well. Like It's got nice lining. It's a nice quilting. It's such a pretty skirt. I just... Just doesn't fit which is a shame um because i really did like it so i'm gonna try on another dress now so this dress i'm really really unsure about it um just because um i'm not sure on the fit but i'm also that was the popper <laughs> i hate body suits <laughs> not sure on the fit very much so, um, yeah, this is, what brand is this? This is, it's a brand called uh, Jacqueline de Young. Young. But I saw this on the model, and it was one of them pictures where you can't tell if it's like a baggy dress or if it's a shaped dress, like it, a fitted rather, um, because just the poses that the model were doing, because ASOS is slowly becoming Zara. Um, but... I feel like it's a maternity dress, but it's practical, it's an easy throw on, but it's just not flattering. But like, I think about it and I'm like, well, if I needed a quick dress just to go to the shops, that and a jacket and some boots, perfect. Uh, but then the other half of me is like, I don't feel like I'm, I look flattering in this and I don't feel, I feel frumpy in it. I feel like I'm kind of in a night dress, but it's so nice and soft. I think maybe if I got a smaller size, like, I'd like it a bit more, but it does feel a bit like a maternity dress, and I think, I think it's a bit like, well, I could save it till next time I'm pregnant, but I don't think that's going to be anytime soon. So it's kind of like, do I really want to keep this in my wardrobe for a potential four months that we like that I'm, I'll be wearing it for? Um, and like the only reason the difference between this and the pink one that I didn't think was the most flattering, the pink one's very cozy and warm, whereas this quite this is quite thin. But I do like it, I'm just very on the fence about keeping it or not because, yeah, I could go do the shopping this. I could feel comfortable, but I don't feel comfortable with myself wearing it. So it's it's one of them things. I think with the belt as well, though, 
might look a bit better, but I'm just so on the fence about it. Um, but let me show you. Uh, so this jumpsuit, see I told you I bought a lot. <laughs> I did buy a lot. So this is a jumpsuit that I really liked. And it's really hard to tell what it looks like when you're just um, showing it. Um, but it was a nice little jumpsuit, like that. And I really liked it, but I couldn't actually pull this up high enough <laughs> to actually get it on my shoulders. <laughs> it just wasn't long enough in the torso. Um, it's another ASOS uh, design and I just couldn't get it up and it was like hanging off here like that. I couldn't, I couldn't even do it up. I couldn't get it up on my shoulders to do it up. Um, maybe I just needed a bigger size because maybe the size is also lengthwise in torso or maybe I could have tried tall but I'm definitely not tall. I'm about five, five and a half so it's definitely not the case. Um, but I did actually get another jumpsuit from ASOS for my birthday from my mum and that fits gorgeous. Um, maybe I should get it out, one second, um, because I won't try it on. Um, but I, I, I'm a bit strange in the sense that I like having a jumpsuit that are actually like going out jumpsuits because they don't really suit my figure. But they're, they're soft and they're stretchy, so it's like the cheaper ones. Um, so this is, one's got uh, cords at the bottom, um, but it's pretty much similar, it's just a burgundy one, it's got the same type of sleeves, but it's a stretchier material, and I like wearing around the house, it's the same as that pink dress, it makes me feel like I'm a bit dressed up, um, so I do like wearing them around the house, I've got a, like a velvety kind of one from Quiz, um, yeah, so I do really like that kind of thing, uh, wearing them around the house, so... That purple one is good. So I've got the last outfit now. I think this is the last outfit. Yeah, it was that or I've forgotten something, but I don't think I have. Um, but I just need to pop this on. Um, so, wait, are these shorts? I actually got quite a lot of shorts. I feel like shorts fit a bit better than tight, uh, tight, than, uh, skirts at the moment for me. And I think they may be just a little bit more practical as well sometimes, just for this kind of time but I'm actually a skirts and dresses person it's very rare I wear trousers and things like that but lately that's just what I've been going for maybe my style was adapting a little bit because I've got toddler um but yeah this these shorts that I'm about to show you are from uh ASOS but this top is from Oasis which is one of my favorite brands or well, is my favorite brand I still I don't know if this is part of when Boohoo's taken over because um, I was really upset when Oasis went under. Um, I hate when these, these buttons are small and I'm home on my own. <laughs> there we go. I'll do one button up. Right. So, it's meant to be tucked in. But, yeah. One second. <laughs> this is the idea. I haven't tried this outfit together yet, but this is the idea. Um, so, I hope they go, which I think they do, a little bit. The idea is to put shorts, uh, to just put tights on with some boots as well. Right, so that does look all right actually. So this is a lovely velvety top. I don't know if you can see this. There's a nice little bit of rouge in there. And these are leather shorts. So these two things I'm actually keeping because um, I quite like them. Even though the shorts aren't the most flattering things in the world, um, I actually do think these will last quite a while because um, they're this weird leather um, or clever probably. Um, but I do really like this top as well. I've got this one black top that I own that I've had for about 10, 15 years and it's so worn out. But I haven't got rid of it because I just haven't found anything that I love as much to replace it. And this is the top. This, I can finally get rid of this other top. Uh, I've got a really hard time letting go of things that I've had forever that I kind of treasure a little bit. Um, so yeah, this this top is staying. It's from Oasis. Like I said, I was really upset when I was going on double like the second time. <laughs> and like right at the last minute, Boohoo bought them out. Um, but I haven't tried anything in their quality since um, Boohoo took over. So I don't know if this is old stock or new stock. If it's new stock, the quality is still fabulous. Um, so that's really good. But I did read things that uh, like Coast and Caramillion went downhill in quality when Boohoo took over. Because let's be honest, Boohoo is not the best quality. But I do like Boohoo. So it's always good for like a quick bit of fashion. But if it is taken over one of my favourite brands and it's not that good quality and you are paying about £40-£50 per dress, you kind of want something quite good. But nonetheless, this top is fabulous and I can't wait to be wearing it. I am worried about washing it, um, but I feel really good in it. 
And uh, these shorts, I actually have been thinking about them. There's no pockets, which is annoying because I feel like I could be like, yeah, in the pockets. Um, but even though they're not the most flattering, I do feel like they're quite practical because you're not going to show much when you bend over. And if, like I said, if I put them in my tights and some boots, I feel like I've got a like, right little autumn winter look here. Um, yeah. So I don't know how long I'd keep these shorts in my wardrobe for, but I'd like to think for a long time um, just because I quite enjoy them. It's very different for me. And when I ordered them, my husband was like, what have you ordered? And I was just like, no, like, hear me out. And when I tried them on, the first thing he said is they're really nice. Um, so yeah, I do wish there was pockets. So I keep going to do that. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I hope I can edit them two videos together because, you know, I'm not all about the life of uh, doing all the other bits. Editing. I ain't got time. Right. Like, I ain't got enough time because this is fun so like, I ordered all this stuff and figured you know what I'll put a video together so yeah hopefully you've stuck around to the end to see my favourite outfit although I am really starting to love my pink jumper <laughs> but yeah I've got to go sort out the returns now because that's going to take a lifetime do you know what I don't know if it's just me but do you guys struggle with doing the online return form instead of the paper one where you just have to tick stuff I always think I'm doing it wrong <laughs> I don't know why I always think I'm doing it wrong anyway so, oh, there we go. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. It's, it's a bit different. I hope I've edit, edited this together well. <laughs> Delivery came. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Anyway, yeah. Maybe I'll link things below. I don't know if I've got enough time to just, like, find all the links again. Um, But, yeah, if I do, I'll link it all in the description if I have time. But... Most of this was also sale items, so there are limited sizes and stuff as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment below what was your favourite piece. Because uh, I'm sending a lot of this back and I did have a limit of what I could spend for my birthday. Because I'm under that limit, I am going to... And I've got a lot of birthday money as well. I am able to go back and buy some more stuff uh, once we get refunded for a majority of this. Um, so, if you do want me to do another one, pop in the comments below and I will... See if I fancy it. <laughs> um, yeah. See you later. Bye.